Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and today we are going to learn how to use your calculators to type in problems that deal with scientific notation. So if you use the Google calculator and follow the steps I'm about to show you, you should have no problem typing in scientific uh, notation into your calculators and solving uh, the types of problems that we're going to work on in Moodle. So let's take a look. First thing we're going to do is we are going to go to Google and we are going to type in the word calculator. And when we type in the word calculator, the Google calculator pops up. So if you don't know how to use your calculator, I recommend using the Google calculator and following the steps that I'm about to show you in this video. So let's take a look at this problem on the left that we're going to solve using the Google calculator. On the left, it says, if the hydrogen ion concentration of a solution is 0.08499 moles per liter, then the hydroxide ion concentration will be blank moles per liter. So in this problem uh, we learned earlier that the H plus concentration times the OH minus concentration of an aqueous solution is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th moles per liter. And in this problem we need to find the hydroxide ion concentration. So to find the hydroxide ion concentration I have to take the H plus concentration and put it underneath here and we should be able to work this problem out now. So in this problem we take 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th moles per liter and we're going to end up dividing this by, I'm going to put this in scientific notation here, 8.499 times 10 to the negative 2 moles per liter. So how do we put this in our calculator? How do I take 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th and divide it by 8.499 times 10 to the negative 2? Well let's take a look. Over here using our Google calculator we will type in 1.0 we will then hit the EXP button. We will then hit negative 14 and we're going to divide this by 8.499 then we're going to hit the EXP button and then we're going to hit negative 2 and then we'll hit equals and our answer right here is 1.176609 E negative 13 or 1.76609 times 10 to the negative 13th so our final answer here if we round to the thousands place in Moodle it will be 1.18 I'm sorry, 1.177 it looks like. 1.177 times 10 to the negative 13th moles per liter. And if you want to enter this in Moodle, we will use the E form. Right? We're going to use the E form and I'll go ahead and put that answer up here. We will simply type in 1.177 E negative 13 into this little box right here and that should be the correct answer okay so if you follow these steps uh, to enter scientific notation into the Google calculator you should be able to uh, work out all the problems in Moodle dealing with scientific notation so I hope this was helpful